This is Chuck Generals with CNS Mining and Manufacturing in Arizona again. Uh, I'm going to do a video today uh, on how to clean up your uh, steel to powder coat. Uh, as you can see, uh, I had a customer order three of these. Uh, these are quail. Uh, these are actually called designer quail. I'm not sure if you can see on a close-up. Uh, this is the back side of it. Uh, and it, it can be either way, you know, if, depending on where the customer is going to mount it. But this back side, because it kind of has such thin cuts, I've got a little bit more dross or slag on the back side. So it's going to take a little bit more work to get that off. And I'm, I just want to show how we actually prep for these uh, to do the powder coating on them. Uh, it's not a hard process. It, uh, it is something we do so we get a good uh, coat, a good uh, adherence with our powder. These will be done in a textured powder, so I'm going to use a little bit heavier grit powder. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, heavier grit flap disc. Uh, on these, uh, I can use 40 grit and it won't show grinder marks uh, as I surface grind both of these, uh, both sides. Uh, if I'm using a, uh, a smooth powder, you know, I'll be up at a 120 grit. But on these it'll be 40, so uh, give me a second to get the grinder set up and we'll see how it goes. Alright, I'm back. Uh, one thing we always do, uh, whether we're powder coating or, or using grinders, uh, we do a dust mask, gloves, and ear protection. Just because that's the only ears we got, the only eyes we got, the only hands we got, and lungs. So, uh, give me a second. I hope you could hear well while I've got this mask on, but this is a magnetic vise. Now uh, this vise uh, will hold a piece while we're grinding it, doesn't matter what size it is. Once you turn on the magnet, I mean it's not moving anywhere, it'll shake the whole tail. So let me get the grinder going, we'll get it done. Okay, you probably don't have a good view of this, but that's uh, one side's ground. So let me uh, show you how close, uh, you know, it gets nice and smooth. There's not a lot of lines in it. It's, uh, it looks pretty good. So uh, what I'll do is I'll grind the other side, then I'll show you the balance of the cleanup. Uh, these are all done. Uh, now we're going to do the final steps. They're done on both sides all three of them. So the next step is to wipe it down with uh, acetone and that's merely to get any surface oils off. Powder doesn't like uh, surface oils. Uh, not using gloves on this, uh, it's probably not good but uh, I'm just not doing it. Uh, I've been doing it for years and never had a problem. So what we do here is just wipe down both sides and then just let them dry. And we'll sort of dry right here on the table. Uh, you know, and one thing I wanted to say about the grinding portion of this is if, uh, if you're grinding on a piece of steel like this that you're going to finish with powder, 
You don't want to linger in one spot and have that grinder, especially with a 40 grit like I'm using, and grind a ridge into it. Uh, you know, you'll, you'll never cover that with powder. It will seek the highs and lows, and it just it just won't do it. So you know, keep the grinder moving, just like if you were doing a heat paint. Just keep it moving and uh, don't linger anywhere and, and make big gouges. Uh, and then we're just wiping down to this acetone, so that's all done now, and I'll get that out of the way. Uh, so next, what I do, and this is just to get the uh, little particles of the rag off. Take a burnzomatic and just hit it real quick. I'm not trying to heat color. You're not trying to heat it. You can see the sparks coming off it. That's little pieces of that rag. Then we just lay that one down and get it on. If I could pick it up, I could get another. And you know, just do the same. My fans keep the acetone fumes out of here so that doesn't cause any problems. Whatever you're doing, you know, you, you do this to it and it just gets rid of all those little sparks or just little pieces of wind that will show up in your powder. I'm sorry, don't do it crazy, you just want to knock the stuff off it and that's it. Alright guys, this was just a really quick little video on, on how to treat this before you powder coat. Uh, if you watch my other videos, it tells you how to powder coat and uh, uh, or to uh, heat paint, whichever you're going to do. Now, if I was going to heat paint these, I would uh, go over them again with a 120 grit and get it almost like a mirror, um, and then do the uh, heat paint on it and then clear coat it. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. You just get to see my future videos. Thanks for watching.